hi YouTube, this is Felicia Loves and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. I am so glad that you came. This is going to be a fun video. I am doing a ghost tiered tray and I'm also going to do a story time as I do the tray. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so fun to make and I have a good story for you guys. So stay tuned. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm about to decorate my kitchen tables to tier tray. I love to decorate um, my kitchen table for all holidays. So I'm going to turn transform this tray into a ghost themed tray. And I'm going to start by applying this decal that I got off Etsy. Um, and it says ghost snacks. So appropriate for this ghost theme tray. So. Let's get started with the ghost story. This story was told to me by my grandfather, John. Daddy John, we miss you so much. He passed away a few years ago, but he would always tell us the best stories. Scary stories, but the best stories. A little backstory about my grandfather. He was a wonderful person. He was about 94 when he passed away and he lived a full life and i can say this because he believed in laughing and having a good time and everybody would flock to his house because he was always having a good time he was always laughing and he was the life of the party so let me go ahead and get started with this ghost story my grandfather told us this story when we spent the night at his farm in East Texas. Anybody that knows East Texas, it's really country, um, not a lot of street lights, and my grandfather's land was huge, so he would grow all types of crops and different things, and he had animals, chickens, all of that. So growing up, I was able to see all of that, and it even had a little pond that we would call ourselves fishing in. But he would um, always go up to the church because one of his jobs was being a grave keeper. Um, he watched over the graveyard, made sure the graves were the graves were clean and the lawns were mowed, and he also dug graves. So I thought that was really interesting. As a kid growing up, it was very scary to us, but he would always come home with these stories that were amazing so this particular time my grandfather him and the guy that he worked with went to go dig a grave at dusk that mean it was pretty dark um, in the country so it was probably around six o'clock that they went um, they loaded the truck up with the generators the lights and the um, you know and they had um, on the back um, the actual shovel the thing that digs the grave so they went out to the graveyard and they took them about a couple hours they finished digging the grave, and as they were packing up, they heard a sound. Sounded like thunder, but it didn't look like rain. It was just this loud noise. At this point, they were done digging the grave, and they weren't trying to stick around, okay? They weren't ready to do any investigations because they are at a graveyard, but his partner noticed that the tarp on top of the dirt had moved, had kind of blown off. So he was like, if it's raining, we're going to have to put it back. So they jumped out the truck, moved the tarp, hurried up, you know, and tried to get it back and, you know, put stones on it to hold it down. Then they felt the ground move. At this point, they're like, let's go. So they jump into the truck and the truck wouldn't start. So at this point, my grandfather is trying to start his truck, which there is nothing wrong with his truck. It's like almost only two years old. There's no reason why it should not have started. But they were trying to start it, start it, start it. And it was acting like um, it was tr not going to turn over. So it, it was one of those sounds like the starter wasn't working. So he was like, it just kept. And he said, for some reason, he just kept trying. Then he looked in his rear view mirror. And behind him, he saw... A entity when my grandfather saw this entity he immediately u-turned 
because the graveyard is one way in and one way out. And it's a dirt road that has no street lights. So at this point, my grandfather whips his truck around and he is now facing this entity. This entity is moving towards him. It is over 10 feet tall, the torso of a man, the body of a horse. It's jet black with red eyes, very muscular, and he is livid that my grandfather is there. So my grandfather said, this thing did not open its mouth. It did not say anything, but he heard it tell them to go. So at this point, he looks at his partner and his partner said, he said, go. So he was like, you heard that? He said, I heard that. So now they are past scared. So they hit the gas and he's speeding out of there and this thing comes charging him. He says, as he's charging him, his feet does not touch the ground, but the ground is moving. He said he felt the ground moving. And my grandfather speeds past this thing as fast as he can go with the trailer on the back. Um, he speeded, you know, hoping that this thing does not jump on the truck or jump in the bed. After my grandfather passes it, it double backs and it starts chasing my grandfather. And it gets closer and closer and closer. And the truck was shaking. He said it felt like I was driving over a bunch of rocks, just rocks, just pebbles. I was just shaking so bad. So after he got to the road, the thing that was chasing him, the entity, the ghost, or whatever you want to call it, um, let out a loud cry that cracked my grandfather's rear view mirror. My grandfather proceeds to make a left turn and hightail it out of there as fast as he could. Later on that night, my grandfather um, told me about my great-grandfather, my grandmother's mother, who really didn't like my grandfather that much. He came and visited my grandfather um, in a ghost form, and my grandfather said that he floated above his bed as he was trying to sleep. But the one thing about ghosts or slash Hanks is they cannot touch you and they cannot do anything to you as a living person. So my grandfather said he just rolled over and went to sleep. So needless to say, I was unable to sleep in that house with my grandparents for a very, very long time, especially at night. A little back history about that graveyard. That graveyard and church were founded by my great, great, great grandparents. So a lot of my family, almost all of my family is buried in that graveyard. Um, so it has been in our family for years. And that is why my grandfather chose to upkeep that particular graveyard because of the sentimental values of all of our family um, that resides there. I still go there to visit my great-grandmother and my grandfather who is now buried in that graveyard. Um, for you guys who don't know, graveyards are associated with churches, cemeteries are not. So that is the difference between a graveyard and a cemetery. Interesting fact I learned recently. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making them and I hope that I can make many more in the future. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great week. Bye-bye.